about your brand? What should we know about it? And, sure, uh, so we've been going since 2016, British design, Swiss made. Um, our thing is color, uh, uh, love of the dial. I mean, obviously everything's important in the watch, but love of the dial, we're known for color. America's a big market for us. Very important to us, we love this country. Everyone's open, embracing, encouraging, fantastic. And um, uh, we're here uh, with the wind-up fair probably since 2016. We think it's a fantastic vehicle by the Worn and Wound guys. Great response, great to get in touch with the consumer. Lots of people come by who have not heard of us before, but also lots of people who come by with their fairers on to say, hi, how are you? So a great interaction, we love to do it. And of course, everyone has been sat on their hands for two years, so it's particularly good. So, great fun. What, uh, what do you have on your wrist today? So I have a Seagrave mono pusher, oh. but um, to, this week we have launched we have launched the Stanhope fat ear barrel sided cushion case, which has been very popular. And um, and just generally showing what. Uh, we've done in the last couple of years for folks who want to, you know, who, who, who are the folks who want to physically touch it just to get comfortable? Absolutely. Yeah. How do you guys decide in terms of like your lines? I feel like uh, you've done a great job of kind of starting out with something that's very much like an everyday kind of versatile dressy piece is to dedicated to divers and then, you know, really nice sports related chronographs. How do you kind of decide what you're going to take on? Is it something where you want to do a little bit of everything or is there any kind of like, hey, you want to just jump in into the deep end and say, hey, well, we really want to own a particular genre? Like so we're not focused on any specific, we're interested in a broad cathedral, not the lightsaber, <laughs> rather than a narrow church. But nevertheless, every uh, model that we do, we'd like to think that you would put your thumb over the name and still know it was fairer. Yeah, that's cool. And um, uh, our, our, our goal, our aim, is to make sure that people have a collection of fairer watches rather than one. Oh, and okay. if you focus on the sort of, um, if you focus on field watches or dive watches, well, you know, once you've got one, you're done, right? So that's not. That's a customer relationship, but it's not as rich as it could be. And we have many, many, many customers. Some guy asked me today, what percentage of fairer customers do I think own more than one watch? I would say it's as high as 40 to 50%. Wow. So, and that's because you can pick up a GMT or a chronograph or a three hand or a world timer or a dive watch. Uh, we don't believe one of them is more important than the other, good for everything. We're known for our classic case GMT, our Lander watch, but actually, of course, we want to embrace everyone. Yeah, awesome. Well, so great talking to you today. I really appreciate your time. Your brand is amazing. Hopefully, we'll get um, you know maybe a sample or two for the channel at some point. Sure. And we can collaborate. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a brand that I've been very interested in for a while, and a lot of my viewers kind of will ask about. Um, and you know, I, I really uh, pride my channel in, in keeping up and getting the word out with independent micro brands. And I think you know, you guys have really created just more than mo good models and good watches. You've created a brand, so that's something that I absolutely support and appreciate. And yeah, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much for stopping by. Great to see you. All right, cheers Thanks. now. Thank you.